Well, you guessed it, it's that time of the week once again. Welcome back to Black Bear Forge, and let's get started with the hook of the week. So it's time to go to our bucket of useful treasure that we found out in the yard. I've got this great big piece of three quarter and this piece of pipe. And even though I am trying to do this as much as an improv as possible, I've been thinking about these two things and think they go together like that somehow. So I think we're going to use those. But there's no way to mount this on the wall if this swivels in there. So we need something to make a mount out of. Well, that's pretty big, but it would make a, a mount. We might have to cut it. I think we're going to use those three pieces. I saw some 3 8 round bar in there. There we go. I think I'm going to use this to make a collar for the top of the pipe. So you saw a little bit of what I have in mind there. I'm going to do some sort of a hook that fits in the tube. I'm going to have to clean up the tube because it's kind of flat in there. And I think we'll put a big ball or a big rivet head on the top of this so that it bears on the top of the tube and I will make a collar out of this piece of 3 8 round to go on there to give it more bearing surface. I think I will allow myself to MIG weld this instead of trying to forge weld it or something like that. Forge welding to tube sounds like a real nuisance. Probably can be done, but not today. So I'll do that and that gives more for whatever this head is to bear. Then we'll make a hook, probably one that sticks way out from the wall so it can swivel and lay flat or come out to hang a hose or cord or something like that on. And then there'll be a back plate that the hook hangs on. It'll either go like this with screws there, not quite big enough for that. So I think it'll go this way and I'll probably just cut this off because I think that's too big. Some good rusty stuff. It's a longer heat than I want, so I'm going to cool that off. Unfortunately, it cools down as you do that as well. The whole thing does. But it would have buckled a lot worse had I not cooled it off. So this is just going to take some work. The biggest problem I have is I've upset more than that than I need for a head. So I'm going to have to neck that back down or drive it into a heading tool to make it the right size. I guess I should check and see if I have a heading tool for a three quarter inch bar. But I also know it's not going to fit 
in the heading tool because I've upset this end a little bit, so I'm going to bring that back down to size and then see if we can fit it in the heading tool. Doing all that upsetting, managed to also upset this end. I don't want it upset. Now this ideally will fit through a heading tool, but I don't have a three quarter inch heading tool. And it's almost small enough to fit into my pritchel hole. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this under the power hammer and I'm just going to reduce this just a little bit so it fits easily in the pritchel hole. I'm going to start right back here so I've got plenty for a head that the shaft will fit the pritchel hole. So I was going to try and do most of these hooks without a power hammer, but I think that's going to make this one much more doable. It's either that or I've got to go make a heading tool. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't go through this much trouble for a hook normally, but it is in keeping with the spirit of the project. Get that head centered back up again. Got some flux from the forge stuck to it. Now let's forge that down into a head. It's starting to be what I want. It is flaring out a little bit, so I'm going to work it back down this way some. It's going to take two or three heats to get it right. And right is just what you want if you're trying to follow along with me.
This could be a little doorknob. Do this, I'm just gonna actually bend it around the, the pipe I want it to go on. this up as far as we can. I'm going to go ahead and cut this and because I'm putting that bushing or ring on around the top of this, this is going to have to sit up on top here, which originally I thought it would look better sitting flat, but if I do this then that ring can go on there and won't interfere. And I think about that much material. Now other than cleaning this up so that I can get a good weld, that's about all that needs. So I'm waiting for this to cool so I can cut it apart and I'll just cut that apart and then bring the ends of the ring together. We'll take a quick look at that. But I'm gonna go hit the grinder real quick and shine this up so that I get a decent weld on it. Actually, before I do that, let's put a little bevel around this so it has a nice forged bevel on it. So we'll just put a nice forged bevel on that. Suppose I ought to punch some holes in it while I'm at it too. I think one hole on each end for a quarter inch bolt will be more than enough for this. I started from the back so that when I go from the front and I go over the Pritchell hole, if I end up with any scarring on the back, which didn't happen this time, but sometimes you get a little imprint from the Pritchell hole that looks ugly. So by starting from the back, I don't have to worry about that. Those look like they'll hold 5 16 bolts if I want them to. It'll be plenty solid. So that's all we need to do to the back plate. You see the, the pipe will weld to that and I'll go do a little grinding before I weld it. Let's finish the collar that goes on that. It's just a matter of cutting through with a hacksaw. It's a single ring. It's a little bit offset. I think you can probably see that in the camera. Now hopefully that fits our piece of pipe. I think that'll fit just fine. I'm going to probably have to drive it on there. I'll just weld that up right around there, make this flush for our big head to sit down on. So I've welded that and I've ground my welds down because they aren't as pretty as I might like them to be, but I'm not a welder, I'm a blacksmith. And this fits in there and spins nicely and it doesn't overhang. Since this will be up against the wall, it has to spin freely even when this is up against the wall. Otherwise, it'd look good if it did overhang. But now this isn't a hook. It goes in there, it's gonna pivot, it's gonna look kind of funky and interesting, I think. I might still later add another ring to that just because I think it'll look better. But anyways, we need to draw this out. So I'm gonna do the drawing out, but I'm not gonna do anything else to it until after we assemble it. So I gotta draw it out and leave it small enough to fit back in here. I think I'm going to draw this out relatively flat to start with, but I can't let it spread. 
so it won't fit back in my pipe. So it has to still go through there. It doesn't quite fit. I don't want to take it to final dimension though because I do want to spread that some more after it's assembled. That's pretty close. If it fits, we're ready to then flare this out and put a little fishtail scroll on there. I'm going to start with a cross peen and spread this out widthwise. Looks like I'm making a hot chisel. Just trying to get it symmetrical before I scroll it. Advance the scroll over the edge of the anvil as you work it there so you don't create kinks. I think that's what I want there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to bend that up real short because I want the hook to be a long flat hook. And this is just a keeper on the end of the hook. To do that I'm just going to let the vise define the length of this by hooking that curl under the jaw of the vise. And I'm going to bend it backwards. I've got a jaw with some radiuses, just a piece of angle iron that's ground a little bit better than just using the vise jaw as a bend point, less likely to leave a kink or a gouge. Now I want to do the same thing back here so that it still rotates in the pipe, but as close to the pipe as I can get it. Well, I would love to make this bend right at the, the pipe. I think that's unrealistic. So I'm going to bend it right there. This will make a good cord hook or hose hook or something of the sort. I need to just clean up my bins a little bit. Now remember, if you want to see the completely finished hook, that's in the last 30 seconds of the video. I think I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. It's an oddball thing, I realize that, but I do hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next one.